My name is Dr. Carl Ross of the University of Portsmouth and today is the 3rd of May 2010 and I'm going to talk about how to solve the problem of the Gulf leak in the Gulf of Mexico which took place about 11 days ago. Now this is to be compared with the oil leak of the tanker the Exxon Valdez which took place in Prince William Sound. In that case the leak was 11 million gallon, US gallons in, this, in the case of the Gulf, the leak is about 200,000 US gallons per day. Thus, for it to reach the same proportion as that of the Exxon Valdez, it will take about 50 days. Now, now, what I suggest is a way to solve this problem is to build a huge shell roof and place it over the leak and to capture the oil. And uh, the captured oil can then be siphoned off by tankers which draw alongside the shell roof. Now, I'm doing an experiment now to show you how this, this uh, system works. This is the experiment that is simulating how to stop the leak, the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. This is the shell dome roof which is sealed at the top and has a hole down the bottom. This container contains the oil which simulates, which is going to simulate the oil leak when I put it under water. This is the basin containing the clear water. I'm now going to put the container containing the oil into the basin and then I'm going to put the shell roof on top of the container to show it contains the oil. You can see the oil coming from the container leaking upwards and being contained by the shell roof. See around the edges of the of the uh, basin, there's no oil. Once I remove the model shell roof, you can see all the oil that it contained successfully.